This is Jim Amter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota, with your closing grain and livestock comments for April 30th, 2021. Corn market up 17 and a half off the Dece, May up 38. Soybeans up to the tune of 28 and a half, up 21 in November. Chicago wheat up five, Minneapolis up 27 and three quarters off the May, off the July 19 and a quarter, and Kansas City up nine and three quarters. So we gotta start quoting separate contracts because we're getting a lot of movement on the spreads on the week. We saw the corn market up 84 and a half on the true weekly, uh, up to the tune of 13 off the December. Soybeans up 31 and a quarter off the May, down one and three quarters off the Nove. Chicago wheat up 32 and a quarter. Minneapolis up 44 and three quarters. Kansas City up 25. So quite the week nonetheless. What are we gonna be watching here? South American weather, obviously. They got another two weeks of dryness upon them. That's coming after about three to four weeks of drying conditions. We're gonna have to watch that very closely because that potentially could increase uh, pressure on the world markets to uh, originate grain and here in the U.S. with strong basis levels in corn we're just not seeing that availability come current that's why you're seeing basis levels strong and also the spreads narrowing specifically here off those front months so keep an eye on that off the soybean complex market settling in here a little bit uh, not a lot of new news we've got plentiful crop out of Brazil with their harvest just completed off the soybeans so kind of a tale of two stories but make no mistake this meat, bean market, excuse me, is lurking back in the weeds. And when you look to uh, this corn market, it's the market of the moment, but soybeans still need acres. Corn's winning that battle from our vantage point, and that could be a concern long-term for soybeans. So the dynamics are big, the price counts are big, and you just need to be attentive. Live cattle on the day on Friday, down 347 and a half April, uh, up 135 in the deferreds, so good to see those deferreds come together. Feeder cattle down 225, hog market up 140 to uh, three bucks limit. Uh, the two contracts June, July. Overall in the week, live cattle down 185. Uh, feeder cattle market down 25. Hog market up 77 and a half, but July up 472 and a half. So as we look to hogs, the index 106.84. Uh, when you look to the uh, cutouts, uh, they were a little bit uh, choppy all week here. Exports were strong. And when you look to price counts, we've got 114 and then 140 plus off the June hog. So strap in. If we get above that 114, things get real crazy as it's getting in other markets. If we can stall around that 114, that's a pretty big price count. So be attentive. Live cattle 118, live base 192 dress for cash trade box beef firmer. Exports were good in the index around 135. Uh, but it's good to see those deferred cattle. That's, uh, I think, the way we're going to start this market. But look for lighter, lighter cattle ahead after this initial push here just due to the price of input. So, again, this cattle market, hopefully we can stabilize the corn here at some point for those guys and start to see that cattle market improve. This has been Jim Emter, Van Ana Company, Alexandria, Minnesota. Trading in futures and options involves risk of loss. It is not suitable for all producers. Past performance is not indicative of future results. This is a solicitation. Have a great weekend.